American and Albanian medical mentors are headed toward an Afghan military hospital. The U.S. members are part of a military training advisory group. They're training the trainers, if you will, doing their best to ensure Afghan medical professionals can sustain a medical system of their own and pass that knowledge to their Afghan counterparts. This is Commander Stephen Yadin's second time filling the role of a medical advisor in Afghanistan. And from what he's seen, things are moving in the right direction. We have transitioned actually as the drawdown's been going to smaller and smaller teams. Uh, from 35-man teams to where we are now with about 10. And we stay more focused now in actual running of healthcare. So uh, they're doing very well at the clinical stages. Now we're able to draw it back and get that 50,000 foot view now so that we can see how the system itself is going to be sustainable for the future. Missions include everything from preventive medicine to long-term care of people who suffer traumatic injuries. On this day, Commander Yadin also gave Albanian doctors who have similar medical missions a tour of the hospital. The atmosphere inside the hospital seemed friendly, but Canadian soldiers, along with Albanian and American service members, kept their eyes out for the very real threat of insurgent attacks. For Afghanistan to be a nation, they have to have health care, just as we debate our health care issues back home in the United States. That is why we are here in this support advisory role. Developing a sustainable health care system in a country that previously had none is a long-term project to say the least. For example, it takes years to train nurses, and on top of that, you have to train those who can train future nurses. As Afghans continue to step up and fill these leadership roles, U.S. and coalition forces can step back from the systems they helped establish years ago and watch Afghans carry that work into the future. Marine Staff Sergeant Jason Price, Kabul, Afghanistan.